Well, hi, my name's Mark. <laughs> my name's Tom. And here with another Sam Problem. You like the review shows, don't you? Yeah, we've got You're in charge of the remote on this yeah. one. We've yeah. got, uh, we got new cameras. New... If you don't know what we're talking about, if you check out our Insights, Insights is when I managed to get hold of the remote, set a camera up while, I was work, while Mark's working, interrupt him, and we have a proper in-depth discussion about things that we've been working. Uh, the review show, which is this, this is new stuff, isn't yeah, it? We've had a look at. We've had a look at. We've had a opinion. With, yeah. yeah. So we're going to start off with uh, CM3, which stands CM3. for Conscious Magic number three. Number three. It is number three because uh, this is the third DVD of the series, right? Was, yeah, there was a number one and number two. Yeah, number two was. We reviewed one. I think we reviewed number two. Mm -hmm. and, um, it I was, like number two better than number one. Yeah. Uh, there is a, a trilogy set as well, which you can buy. If you haven't got any of them, you can buy all three together at a slightly cheaper price. Yeah. Buying all three individually, which you might want to consider if you haven't bought the first copies. But we're talking about this one. This is definitely my favourite out of the, uh, the three. Yeah, and Two was good, but this uh, is my favourite. Four effects, some we on, we have. on here. Uh, the first one uh, is a thing called Accuracy, which is uh, using, uh, it appears very impromptu. It appears very much a bar trick. It's very much, all of these are designed to be casual magic, the way they describe it. Mm -hmm. So you, they would work in, in working situations, but they also, when you're out with friends, if you're slightly younger than me, and you're still at school or you're going out a lot, this would be brilliant for these sort of things. So the, um, this one looks impromptu, you use two notes and a coin, uh, you look away and you actually look away, they spin the coin. Mm -hmm. You don't look at it at all. They then cover it. Mm -hmm. So you spin the coin, you don't look at it, they cover it, it's covered. You can then turn back around, hand them the notes or the notes can be on the table. They take one in their hand and one in their pocket yeah, and you can yeah, tell yeah, you. That one they've got a, um... Uh, a dollar bill and a uh, 50 or 20. Bill. Uh, I do wonder how that would work in the UK. It could be adapted to UK money. You could use two notes of the same denomination. You could. Uh, if you marked one with one letter and one with another, number yeah. one and number two. If you borrowed them and said, oh, I've got a £10 note, I'll well, we use yours. We yeah. can initial it so you know that you get mm -hmm. yours back. Yeah, you could. Um, but yeah, you know which one's where without, without looking. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, very cleverly, you know before you turn around, there's no peak, there's mm -hmm. no... It's um, no, pretty it's, genius. It's ingenious, yeah. yeah. So uh, that's a good one. That's accuracy. Uh, the next one is uh, STFU. STFU. Do we'll have to guess what that stands up. out. That stands for. But this, this is the best use of this gimmick that I have ever seen. Oh, yeah, there's a gimmick in there. There's a gimmick in, in the there. box, which is why it's rattling around a little bit. Um, the gimmick's been used for various things in the past. It has. And this actually, this trick recreates one. I think it might have been the Sands Minds release some time ago when you had to have everyone stood behind you and they took a photograph and the photograph changed yes. from, what the, from the perception yeah, yeah, that people this. had. So it's along that kind of way, uh, but it's a very clever use it's very, of that gimmick. Very clever. Um, so it's a card trick, no point, mm -hmm. well, no point in not saying that. Yep. So a card selected by a spectator, remembered, yep. um, a photograph is taken with the spectator with their card, mm -hmm. the card goes back in, and then they look through the card's gone the card's gone and the reason why it's gone is it was never there and they yeah. say yes it was and then you show them the picture and the photograph you took is of a different, different card. card yeah so that's the effect so that's pretty cool brilliant effect really well scripted as well uh the formula was one i mentioned to you this I, is what got you excited about the dvd wasn't it this is just the pure simplicity and again another genius method really method of this where you have someone uh, think of a card, any card in the deck, so there's no force or persuasion, they can think of any card in the deck completely. Um, you ask them for a, um, sorry, you then get them to get their, it's their phone, uh, or you, they can use your phone to get the calculator out, yeah. and you say we need to generate a random number, and you generate a random number in a fairly simple process, and it gives you, say, 33, whatever the answer might be. It can be a different number every time, it's not the same. Yeah. Um, so uh, when they've generated the random number in the phone, they uh, then deal down the cards to number 33. It's time to stop there, deal the card in front of them, and you say, and your card was, and you have a little peek underneath, and you say, seven of spades, and they say, yeah, that's right. Um, then you carry on with the presentation and say, it's sort of all in your imagination, or all in your mind, uh, all of this that we've done so far, and you turn it over and the card's blank. So not only were you able to name their card, the card is now blank and then when you spread the deck all of that is blank yeah so to recap it's a thought of card a card's never selected a card's never touched mm -hmm. by them it's a thought of card that's then dealt down uh, and then a throw sorry it's a thought of card thought of card a generated number 
that's then dealt down, and that thought of card that's never been said and has never physically existed, you know what it is. Yeah. You can then reveal it with a blank card, and then just to confuse them even more, you can reveal it a blank deck, or you could reveal a blank deck first mm -hmm. and do then the single card. Um, it's just brilliant. Yeah. Uh, lots of uh, bits in there. That lots of bits in there to the point where. Yeah, if you were so if you were at school or with your friends down the pub, this would be brilliant. Mm -hmm. uh, and it ends rather nicely as well with white room. Yeah, the white room, which, well, is, a, which is a traditional white room presentation, but made a little bit better, a little bit fresh, where the mm -hmm. the audience member guides the entire journey. They've reduced the amount of fishing questions to one. Um, it's very nice, sort of. Again, think of a card, but imagine don't just think mm -hmm. of a card. There's a reason for it. You, you've been in a white room. You're painting it. Um, and the, the original PDF's in there for uh, the White Room okay. presentation as well. So you've got four really good effects on there with the gimmick. Really good. And uh, it's a really good release. It's £32.56, uh, which if you buy it from Saturn Magic, you get 5% back in loyalty points to spend on your next purchase. You do. So, uh, what's that, about £1.50, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, £1.50 back off and your next purchase. Everyone likes a gimmick. Um, everyone likes a gimmick. This is a, this is a very clever use. Do check out the trailers. Um, check out all three of those. I recommend all three of them. Mm -hmm. So that's brilliant. That's uh, Conscious Magic and that's uh, Rumping and Andrew Gerard. It is. Yeah. Okay. So, next Mental one. Mental Pen. Mental Pen. Everyone. That's we, I've been answering phone call and phone call after this. <laughs> you said that's the one people want to see. This is the one people want to see. Everyone's getting on about this. Um, a lot of reasons people are going on about it is not everybody knows what it is. Yeah. People, I, I, have a, people think it's an impression device. People on the phone are like, can I get the information from the other side of the room? Mm -hmm. And like, okay, let's, let's do a show. Let's, let's explain mm -hmm. exactly what it is. So the pen is basically a normal Sharpie. Okay, so people say about refills. Yeah, and it, that it's a normal Sharpie. It's a normal Sharpie. So when it runs out, you just get a normal Sharpie and you can continue to use it. What you have got is a very clever gimmick that attaches to your normal Sharpie. It's the easiest way to say it. Yeah, it attaches to the normal Sharpie um, to make it a right, no right pen. That's right. Now, some people have said, can we write with it at the beginning? Which, technically, you could, if you wanted you, to. You could. Yeah, you could. It's um, easier. I played around with this while I was playing with it today mm -hmm. and going through it all. It's, it's, it's easier if you don't. It's easier if you don't, but if you really <laughs> have to, then yes, you can. Um, the gimmick itself is so good that I managed to draw my hands today thinking that it was gimmicked <laughs> when it wasn't. Um, so it looks good. It looks good. The routining to get it into play and everything's really good. The routine ideas on there are really strong. Mm -hmm. I, um, lo I love the t-shirt. Yeah, there's, um, a, there's a word search one as well, which I don't know if you've seen, which is brilliant. Uh, and actually, I haven't watched the full thing, but I think Kieran might have said you even get the uh, thing for the t-shirt. You do. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, do. You do. Uh, as well. Yeah, and the um, he does stuff with... So you can take it and get it printed. Atlas. Playing cards, yeah. so they make a map on a, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, postcards, they, 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 all the PDFs are on there as well, it's been really well thought through. There was someone I was desperately trying to say before I forgot then, and now I got distracted by Atlas postcards. Um, no, nope, that's gone. It's gone, I'm sure it'll come back to you. Anyway, yeah. So you've got the pen, you've got the gimmick. Um, oh, there you go, now when, I what it says. When, go on. He believes that it's the first gimmick on the market that is reset by the spectator. Which might, may well be. Potentially could be. May well be. Uh, but basically the way it works is that uh, they do their drawing out of sight, uh, the spectator caps the pen in the process of capping the pen, it activates the gimmick, uh, which means the next time the lid is taken off, the pen will now write. That's the simplest way that's to explain That's the simplest it, way it? to do it, yeah. Uh, and that's what you're getting, that basically. You're getting. So you're not getting any peak devices, impression devices, anything. No electronics, no nothing. You yeah. get three gimmicks. Because you might lose one. Might lose one and you get a special device to help you apply in your gimmick. Yeah. Um, to to uh, reset it. To reset it. Um, the, we talked about it and said, is it going to be, is it going to work every time? Oh yeah, we were talking about this and we said it is possible that the spectator might not reset the I mean, how often, how often does the spectator not put a lid back on a pen properly? Mm -hmm. It does happen. Yeah. So it's something that you could watch for. Yeah, audience management and I've seen no problem in myself keeping hold of the pen lid mm -hmm. and when they do it, just putting the lid on and saying, actually, just take that off. Yeah, sign just sign it for me. Yeah. Make sure I don't cheat, make sure I don't swap it, make sure we remember which one So to be belt and braces, 100% sure, you probably want to take the pen back momentarily and then say, I'm going to tell yeah, you what. Just, uh, just that split second, it'll pass by, don't make a thing of it, it'll pass yeah. by. Um, this screams for people to make their own routine. The routines are good on there, but of course, 
this is this is just begging for people to make their own routine. Mm -hmm. So while you're making your own routine, just factor in those three seconds where you're going to tap the pen for a second to put the lid back on. In fact, on one of the previous Conscious Magics, they do a lottery ticket routine. They do, which they use the same principle. Yeah. So this would come in brilliant for that. I've done one of those with you know the health lottery cards. Mm -hmm. When I was doing a lot of street magic, I used to use them and a a, no, a normal no right sharpie. This would be mm -hmm. perfect. So um, we can't really say much more about mental pen. It does what it's supposed to. It's well made. Yeah, uh, I've played around with that. I've got four routines that I can't wait to, to play around with. I, 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 I don't think the gimmick's going to break. Um, I don't think it is. Y no. You'd have to jump up and down on it or something silly to break it. So, no, I mean, um, you'd have to. You'd have to actually take it. Take scissors to it. You'd have mm -hmm. to deliberately damage it. You do get three because they are small. Yeah. Um, you get really nice instructions um, with all their products. I'm a big fan of this company. A, now. Stu a sturdier box, which we've criticised them for in the past. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, because they yeah, really heavy things. <laughs> their boxes always used to fall to bits, whereas yeah. this feels a lot sturdier, so the packaging... No, this is definitely, nice and I'm going to say it's on camera, this is probably one of my most... This is one of the magic companies that excites me the most mm -hmm. at the moment. Yeah, quite, I back it's, uh, everything they do. They're quite in innovative, yeah. and, and they get stuff made. They do get uh, stuff made. Nice stuff made. Uh, so the metal pen is 37.16. Also, which is quite nice, because I was thinking about this, they give you a Sharpie in there. Mm -hmm. There's no need to get, every magician owns a Sharpie. There's no need to. They could, yeah, they need to give They could have made the box that small, they could have, but they mm -hmm. have. So everything you need, and we try and do this, although I release it, everything well, I mean, you need. Some parts of Europe, Sharpies are hard to come by, so maybe that's oh. why they did it, yeah. 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 Well, there you go. Everything you need is in the box. Yeah. You'll play with it as soon as you get it, and if you, I guarantee you'll be able to make your own routine with this. Um, I'm looking forward to playing with it. I've yeah. got an idea with the target. Yeah, so you've got a bit of printing to do if you want to use any of their ideas or t-shirt, go and get that printed. Um, but uh, the, the basic thing of what you get is, is good. Yeah, it'll work. It'll really work. Good. Yeah. So that's the mental pen. Right, last thing today. Last thing. This is one of your favourites. Yeah, it? this uh, it's not a new trick. It's no. been out for quite a while. Uh, it's, um, I've got the packet here, have we? But it's Harry Robson's uh, Yesterday's, Yesterday's Dream. Dream by Uncle Harry. Yeah, Harry Robson's a good uh, working magician here in the UK. And Yesterday's Dream is a card trick, but it's a, Harry devised it to be something slightly different. I quite like Harry's humour, actually. He's, he's, I know you do. He's, yeah. he's a great I, I love Harry. I call and, him Uncle uh, Harry. <laughs> he calls me something else. <laughs> he said it's one of these things that when you finish your gig and you go up to say goodnight to the person at the end, Harry says you should always arrive at a party in the right way and always leave yes. in the right way. Uh, which is a great bit of advice for anybody, whatever you do. Uh, and when you leave, uh, quite a lot of the time I was noticing that you'd go up to the booker and say, well, thanks for having me. Oh, everyone's had a great time and nothing wrong with that. You'd no, no, no. Right and away you go. It's even worse if you go to the booker and they say, especially if you're working for an agency or someone that's running the event, and they say, oh, everyone said you're great. I didn't even get to see anything and there's nothing worse than if you've packed up and mm -hmm. waiting to go. So this is perfect. So this is where this can come in. And what Harry says is, is uh, some people might ask me to do a trick before I go, you know. And then he might ask the question again. He stands there. <laughs> so, so eventually someone says, go on then Harry, show us a trick. And he'll go, no, no, I'm going, I'll finish now. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that, isn't it? Yeah, he is. Yeah, so, he is. so we'll turn that round and he'll say, I tell you what, you can do the trick. And um, that's what he does, doesn't he? He does. And uh, he's got um, a deck of cards and uh, it shows people the deck of, uh, deck of cards. He gives them to the um, booker and says so you're going to do this trick get someone to pick a card so they f he fans the cards out in front of him uh, someone picks a card out and uh, keeps it to themselves and someone's been holding on to this by the way from the beginning of course made by harry so it's a beautiful leather yeah, wallet nice uh, leather wallet yours may not come with 10 pound notes no it doesn't come with 10 pound notes or business cards but you've got the leather wallet and someone's holding on to that so once the card's been selected uh, that's been out in the audience the whole time they then reveal what their card was and Harry takes back the wallet, um, takes out a card and sure enough it's the card that they were thinking of, uh, sorry, that they chose. They chose. And that's your little miracle, the uh, booker gets a round of applause for uh, making the person the right card yeah. and away you go. It's 100% fail proof, uh, he said um, that even if someone does something totally wrong to you during the uh, process, uh, you can get out of that and it's a very, very simple way. So if you're looking for a nice self-working card trick, uh, it's nice, the leather wallet thing comes with it, uh, you'd have to add the money and some business cards to it, but you get everything you need in there apart from that. Uh, you get the deck of cards as well, you do. and it's only £25.99, £25 and that's with a nice wallet included. If you can justify one of these, as in, I don't mean financially, I mean on your, in your character, on your persona, mm. 
then this is a really nice effect done exactly how you've just described. Yeah. Um, quite suits you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I like your, it. Your Gucci wallet. Yeah. Uh, so there you go, three products today, all uh, all very good. The workers, all of them actually, there's elements of uh, good working mid well, Yeah. That was good working stuff, that definitely, and that one as well. With so, CM3, some of the routines are not what you what you do in a working environment, but some of the methods, mm -hmm. some of the methods. Um, formula, you could get, that would be almost a competition piece, that sort of. Oh yeah, and that would uh, fool the magicians yeah. in the room to think how on earth you, you knew that. Didn't that. Shame we didn't do this <laughs> in the week when we had foolers on. Um, but we, 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 we keep saying with our review show, we tend to review stuff that we like and we think is good, and we like to bring the best products uh, that are around stuff at the time to you. Stuff that excites isn't it? So I guess it's rather than talking about a piece of rubbish that we were advising not to buy. Speaking of competitions, we should probably say, if you're watching this fresh, massive well done to everybody who was in the Champion of Champions competition. Yeah, well done um, to the Fletcher Day and Magic. Ransbury and Steve Della, who yeah. got joined first at the Day It's not to meet Steve, Steve Della, I've been a fan mm -hmm. of his for a while, he's such a nice guy. Leamington Day of Magic was sunny, there was food, uh, it was a proper who's who of magic mm -hmm. as well, wasn't there? There was quite Sorry, a few, yeah. not celebrities, but yeah. very experienced performers walking around sharing their uh, sharing their knowledge. But uh, put it in your diary for next year, third Wednesday in June is when it's held. It's going to be hot, wear shorts. Yeah, always warm. A uh, big thank you to everyone that lectured as well, if you want to. Pete Turner did a lecture yeah. in the show. Yeah, uh, Max Somerset. Produced tons of gold. Did you tons? A hamster. A hamster. Cup some water yeah. routine with a hamster. Liam rocked it in the morning. Yeah. Fair play to Liam getting up and doing a lecture, card trick lecture yeah, at nine o'clock in the morning. That, that takes some get up and go. And then we had Dave Cop Tompkins doing the kids' entertain a lecture with ventriloquism, and whatever. Yeah, um, really good day. Really good mixture of a day. So, so there we go, the end of another product review. Thanks for watching and tune in for more insights and product reviews soon. See you later. I'll let you press the button, Mark, as it's okay. your review show. Here we go.